So you mentioned, uh, you know, kind of the mentors and the important mentors you've had. You know, in your mind, why is it so important to find a mentor, to have good mentors in your career, particularly early in your career? Well, there was a whole lot of reasons. At the undergraduate level, I was the first, uh, I was the first student to be asked to be a research assistant. Usually, if not almost always, you're a grad student when you're asked to be a research assistant. But um, we had laboratories for each course taken in psychology. I was at Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia. And it did back then, and it does to this day, have an extremely strong psych department. And we had these laboratories attached to child psychology, social psychology, operant conditioning, etc. I was 40 hours or so a week uh, working in these laboratories. And we had to come up with independent experiments, hand them in, and we were graded on them. And my mentor, Dr. Beach, you notice I still say doctor because in those days no one would dare call a professor by his or her first name. So to this day he's still Dr. Beach, although he passed away in 2008. And he was impressed by my excitement and passion and creativity for research. But he asked me to be his RA. And along with that was his insistence that I attend all the departmental colloquia. So I learned very quickly the norms and values of a psychology department. I learned how to speak as a behavioral scientist as opposed mm -hmm. to everyday uh, jargon. When I went to Georgia Tech, uh, my mentor was Dr. Ronan, and he was excellent at telling me how to navigate the politics of a, of a department, and there are politics in almost every department. Mm -hmm. And then I went to University of Akron, and Gary Euchel was a fantastic mentor. And he was helpful, as was later. Um, well, I'll jump ahead and say, you can have mentors all your lives. So when I came out of grad school in 1973, I was hired, as you said earlier, by Weyerhaeuser out in the Seattle-Tacoma area. And I quickly went up to University of Washington, and I met Fred Fiedler and Terry Mitchell. Well, Terry Mitchell and I hit it off. He's a few years older, and we started publishing together. Well, Terry was invaluable as a mentor, teaching me not how to get an article accepted. That's the easy part. It's the revise and resubmit. To, to this day, it gives me headaches. And Terry was a master on the what we call the R&Rs, revise and resubmit. And so these are people who are teaching me along the way what to do, what not to do. I had another mentor, uh, Ed Fleischman. Ed Fleischman got me active in PSYOP as well as active in the International Association of Applied Psychology. And these were always people telling me, gee, think about this, think about that, here's a landmine, don't step there, go here, go there. They took an interest uh, in me and I think, I, I don't think, I know I benefited tremendously from having mentors.